how on earth do we exercise we when we are in so much pain? I'm Melissa from melissaversusbiomounder.com and today we are talking about some things that help me to exercise gently even though I'm in pain. So when your muscles are clenched and some muscles are screaming louder than others and you're so tired that bedtime is all you can think of, exercise might not be a top priority. But ironically, gentle exercise can help with fatigue and it can also strengthen the muscles that so desperately ache. So I have got some things to help with that. So I'm not talking about pushing ourselves into more pain, okay? When I talk about exercise, I talk about gentle movement within our energy envelope, okay? We're working with our body for symptom reduction and toward our own goals. Um, it's all about what we want to achieve, okay? Um, I find it so sad when something so good for us has the ability, um, and it has the ability to be fun, and when we choose the right type, but it can become such a source of trauma and anxiety, which is exactly what has happened, um, especially to the chronic fatigue community. So that's not what we're talking about. Uh, and I do have a post about starting exercise without causing flares, which I will link for you. So exercise could mean bed yoga, a couple of stretches in your seat, uh, walking around your backyard, walking in your local area, jogging or weightlifting if you're so inclined, but the range of exercise um, options is as varied as our physical ability, okay? So don't get stuck on that word and what you think that word means. Um, I'm giving you permission here to scrap what you think it means. So here is the five things that help me exercise when I'm in pain. One, pain relief. Even on fairly high pain um, days, a gentle walk can help. Uh, I've noticed it helps just relieve just a little bit of tension, which can really free things up. So um, research actually shows that getting out into nature can help with chronic widespread pain. It's also good for our mental health to get outside, and we know that our physical and mental health are intertwined. The second one is knowledge of my body. So if I don't keep it up, my progress will slip backwards quite quickly. Um, so in a surprisingly short amount of time, how far I can walk decreases um, and the pain afterwards increases. So um, stretching is really, really important um, because my muscles are prone to kind of clenching and getting too tight from use, but also too tight from non-use. <laughs> Willpower is my third. So um, anything I achieve with fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue takes a lot of willpower and of course it would be easier to just lie on the couch but if I gently push myself to do just a little bit within my limits it's always worth it like I said remembering that definition even if today that means a couple of stretches in bed um, sitting in your chair walking around your backyard right it doesn't mean going for a one hour run. Uh, the fourth one is enjoyment. So I enjoy the exercise that I do. I'm one of those weirdos. I really like vegetables and I really like exercise. So that kind of helps. But I have two particular types of exercise I love. One is walking and one is yoga. The reason I love both is because they are both extremely adaptable to whatever my pain and fatigue level is. Hear that. They are both adaptable to whatever my pain and fatigue level is. Remember, yoga in bed or going for a walk. It could be to your letterbox and back. It could be around the block, whatever. Just a little gentle movement and I love it. And the fifth thing is my little buddies. Um, so my kids and my dog love to go for walks as much as I do. They love to move and they need to burn energy um, and they love to see new things, right? It's good for all of us. Um, my kids also like to do yoga with me. So I'm pretty lucky about that. So these are five things that motivate me to exercise, even if perhaps the pain is making me think maybe not today. Um, so tell me, what are your whys for exercise? And what are your favorite types? And will you make a reminder list of things that will motivate you to exercise when you're in pain? I have a free 10 minute challenge for you, so that might help you. You um, can sign up for free and every second day for eight days, you'll get a 10 minute gentle class. Um, only one of them is actually active stretching, the other three are more about relaxation, but it's a gentle uh, encouragement to do it, right? With the email coming in uh, and, and you've got two days to get that one under um, under control and then the next one will come. So it is the perfect way to get started. So if you need some free 10 minutes a day motivation, 
check that out uh, and don't forget to let us all know what your favorite types of movement are just in case someone else hasn't thought of it. Thank you.